Hi everyone, it's Sarah. I'm just so happy to have you with me today. So my question is, have you ever felt like a fraud? Have you ever had something really, really great happen to you? It could be uh, new clients come in. It could be that you've reached that, that goal you wanted to reach. It could be that you've made that certain amount of money that you've been aiming to make. Um, and then it's happened. And then you get this feeling like, uh, you're a fraud, like you're an imposter, like how can this happen? This shouldn't have happened to me. Um, okay, so today we are talking about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome doesn't, uh, it's not a word that we generally use ourselves. Um, and when I work with clients, they won't say, I feel imposter syndrome, unless they're really aware of the situation. But most of the time they'll say, I don't feel like I deserve it. I don't feel like um, I'm good enough to have this. Um, if this is anything you've ever said, then you are dealing with imposter syndrome. And so today I'm going to give you three quick tips and how to overcome this. So first of all, I want to tell you that imposter syndrome happens because your conscious and your subconscious minds are, um, are at battle with each other. Um, and actually, it's basically you are achieving what your conscious mind wants. Now, it totally throws your subconscious mind. Um, your subconscious mind is not used to that result. It's used to the normal results. But I have to tell you, this is now your new normal. And so it does trigger something literally in your brain. So the three things I advise you to do to get over this and just to start accepting your new normal, first of all, is to acknowledge that you aren't great at everything. Um, and that's okay. You know, we are all good. We have our own special talents at specific things that we do. So please acknowledge that, you know, you're, you're not meant to be doing everything, but acknowledge what you can do. And that is so, so amazing. Um, because what you can do has just got you to the place that you have arrived at. Secondly, I want you to acknowledge that um, things that you are good at. I know we're so hard on ourselves at times. We we put ourselves down. We're kind of like, oh, I'm not good enough or uh, this, this isn't for me. Um, and then when it happens, it really, really shocks us. So I want you to start empowering yourself and being really honest about what you are so good at, what you bring to the world, what you bring to your business and the amazing changes that you make to your clients' lives. Um, and thirdly, um, it's, it's kind of like, it's not a fluke, okay? What you have just done, what makes you feel like, how did I do that? This isn't for me. I feel like a total fraud. I feel like an imposter is for you. I have to tell you, it is for you. You have worked hard. You may not know. And when we do all the brain work, um, it's very, very subtle. It takes time. It takes repetition, but you have been doing it and you have now got your new normal. So I invite you to celebrate because I always say at every new level, there is a new devil, but at every level, there is always a new celebration. And so if you are feeling like that today, um, don't get too bogged down in the, oh my goodness, how did that happen? Is this really for me? Yes, it's for you. And yes, my lovely, it's time to celebrate. So I'm going to leave that little message with you today. Have an amazing, amazing day. I will catch up with you really soon. Take care. Bye now.